What's going on guys, Blazing here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you are having a wonderful day and thank you for joining me on another Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I'm excited today because I got more account progression for Steven's account, right? We are now going to be farming Iron Twins. Uh, and yeah, it is, I mean, the team is fairly simple. Uh, the composition isn't going to require a lot. The gear isn't crazy, right? And we're not requiring block damage. So it's kind of nice, right? We're not going to have to wait for a Helicath or wait for, you know, uh, Rush God the Tower or something. So uh, let's get into it. Let me show you the run. All right. So we have Newt or Nut, whatever you want to call him. We have Emic Trunk Heart. We have two Pain Keepers that are level 40. And we have a Cold Heart, right? Really simple, really easy. The last two uh, fusions are, it looks like, breaking the game for us as far as progression, right? Uh, so let's get into the run. Now, uh, I do want to say, on spirit affinity uh not spirit magic affinity sorry uh new is weak affinity so you have to make sure you have the accuracy check to land the a2 right we are going to require the a2 because uh on emic if we get hit too hard with the a1 um from the iron twins because it ignores unkillable we die and then the run is a fail right so you have to make sure you have enough accuracy to land that decrease attack now is there a replacement at this point in time, I don't think so. I tried a couple of other champions. Uh, you could do it with triple cold hearts instead of Emic, uh, instead of uh, Newt, sorry. Uh, but it's um, it, it's going to be a little difficult, right? Sorry, double cold hearts, not triple. My bad. Um, but you can see here, we're almost a minute. We're at 40%. So this is where the boss is going to start ignoring unkillable with the A1, right? And it's going to be kind of crucial for us, uh, having that decrease attack put out. Now, the nice part about Emic is... He's always going to be the target for the A1 because of the taunt buff that he has, right? So as long as you build him properly, you're not going to have any issues. You can see here, he hasn't even used the A1. And even at this point, if he uses the A1 on Emic, everyone else is still fine. We're still going to get our last Cold Heart A3 and our new A3, right? But you can see no harm done to us here. No problems. Let me do one more run just so you guys can see that it's not a one-off, right? Um, but... Emek and uh, Newt are like really, really <laughs> two of the best fusions we've gotten so far. I don't know about this new one that we have. I'm going to have to wait and play test them and see. But you guys can see like there, there's not any content in the game that you guys can't use them. Um, now, with Emek, the build that we currently have him in is a build that you can use him in other areas of the game, right? For progression, especially in Doom Tower. Um, it, it's, you know, his, his, this build is going to be solid. Um we're not requiring any accuracy on him. We just build him pure survivability. So we'll go through the build in just a minute. But again, no issues here. Emic's nice and healthy. Uh, now you could build your pain keepers to do a little more healing to have everybody fully healed. If you want to make it 100%, uh, no issues on uh, magic affinity, right? If you maximize the A2, uh, you could do that. But then you might have to get him to a six star. So because it is based off their HP. Again, we are still nice and healthy, no issues. A1 is not a problem for us. Um, it very often happens that he'll rotate into the A1 at this point in time. But minute 23, and we have stage 15 of Iron Twins farmed, right? Let me show you guys the builds and the AI setup. All right, so the AI setup is fairly simple. We have Newt opening up with his A1 and then prioritizing his A2, right? We wanna make sure that we have that decreased defense. Emic, we are prioritizing his A1, then his A2, right? Trying to get the cooldowns reduced as much as possible. The Cold Hearts, we're actually prioritizing the A1 to get the heal back for Emic, right? And then prioritizing the A2. Same thing for the second uh, Painkeeper. We're prioritizing the A1 and then prioritizing the A2. As for the Cold Heart, we're just prioritizing the A3 and that is it. We don't want anything else from her. All right, so first up is Newt, and he is in that gorgeous, sexy, sexy Fire Knight skin right there. I mean, look at that thing. It is nice, right? It is nice. But we have him built in a double perception and single accuracy, right? Uh, what did we care about? Basically getting that accuracy on him, right? That's the only re only thing we cared for. Build-wise, we went with 40k HP, 3.2k defense, 224 speed. The speed is crucial. You can't go up or down. 224 is where it needs to be. 109 crit rate, 154 crit damage. Not a lot, right? We're pretty much capped at how much damage we can do on this A3 for Iron Twins. For the rest of the game, 
for normal mode stuff, yeah, we're not going to get the most, but it is what it is, right? We're trying to move the account into endgame. Uh, 461 accuracy. As for books, we do have them fully booked, right? Blessing-wise, we did take Brimstone, Masteries. Now, if you cannot hit the accuracy requirements, you can go down and take Eagle Eye, but I would suggest going Giant Slayer, uh, Killstreak, Methodical, and then as for the support, you go Master Hexer to extend the decrease attack, uh, Lore of Steel, and Cycle of Magic. Next up is Emic Trunkart, and we have him built in a regen and speed set, right? Uh, we don't have any refresh accessories. Actually, you don't want any refresh accessories because the speed tune will fall apart, right? As for the build, we have him at 78k HP, 3.3k defense, 251 speed. You just need him going one speed over 250 to make sure you go before Iron Twins. Uh, and then everything else we don't care about. We don't care about crit rate, crit damage, resistance, or accuracy. Not for this build, right? As for the um, books, you do have them fully booked. All you really need is the A2 and the A3, right? Uh, you don't need the passive or the A1 booked. Uh, Blessings-wise, I would probably say um, Brimstone or maybe something else that's going to help you progress-wise down the line. It really depends up to you and what you're going to use them for. But for this one, we don't have it, so we can't really suggest one, right? Um, as for the Masteries, we did take War Master, we did take Methodical, we did take Kill Streak, uh, we took Lasting Gifts, we took Merciful Aid, we took Lore of Steel, Swarm Smiter, and we took Healing Savior. Now, now we have Cold Heart, and Cold Heart is basically built for pure damage, right? We have her in a Swift Parry set, and all we care about is, again, maximizing that A3. We don't care about anything else, right? So, uh, stats-wise, we have her at 35k HP, which doesn't matter, 2.4k attack which doesn't matter uh 1.6 almost 1.7 k defense which again doesn't matter speed 225 that does matter you need to be on point with that crit rate we have her at 70 percent crit damage we have her at 285 and we don't care about accuracy or resistance as for the books we do have her fully booked right phantom touch is what we did take uh as for masteries again trying to maximize as much crit damage as possible we took flawless execution uh we took blood shield we took Cycle of Violence, we took Methodical, we took Bring It Down. As for the defense, uh, support tree, we took Sniper, we took Cycle of Magic, and we took Swarm Smiter. Now we come to the final two champions, which is Painkeeper. And there's only one difference for them, right? There, it's one speed. That's it. Um, so we have them both built in a double speed and a life set, right? Double speed and life set on both of them. Uh, we don't care about anything else but trying to build them as tanky as possible for the A1 with high HP uh, and just the proper speed, right? So one painkeeper needs to be at 223, and then the second painkeeper needs to be at 221. Um, as for books, you are going to need to book both the A2 and the A3. If you have Phantom Touch, I would use Phantom Touch. As for Masteries, you don't need them, right? We have nothing. If you do have two fully six-starred, and you want to use them, then you can put in Swarm Smite, uh, you can put in Warm Master, um, and that's really much about it. You could go down the support and take Lord of Steel. Uh, do not take Cycle of Magic, right? You don't want to mess the speed tune up that way. So hopefully this helped you out, guys. Hopefully now this is a team that you can use to get all the way up to Stage 15 uh, to help you get some of those Soul Stones. I'm excited because this means that this account now is getting a lot more progression we can start farming and getting some of those delicious soul stones that we all know are expensive as all hell to buy uh and i don't recommend buying them right uh just play the long game guys just play the long game so as always guys much love much appreciation be safe be well be good to each other and i'll catch you guys on the next one